Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be kind of fun to continue my bat refund series with sort of a haul of the things that I've bought over my last few trips to Europe. So not only will I be sharing what I bought, but also how much I pay for each item as well as how much I ultimately saved on each item. And if you're interested in learning more about the bat refund and how it works, I've released two detailed videos which are linked in the tags so you can go check them out after this one. So the first item is this beautiful Louis Vuitton Fifusine bag in the BB size and the galley color. She actually wasn't my very first luxury purchase in the EU, but I'm sharing her first because I really think this is the item that kind of sparked my enthusiasm for luxury shopping and got me going down the rabbit hole. First seen this bag at the Louis Vuitton store at Fiumicino Airport on my way home from Italy in August of 2022, and uh, I wanted her immediately. However, because of the price point, it wasn't something that I could justify splurging on on the spot, but I knew that I'd be back in Italy in October, so I saw her, I left her, I went home, I thought about it a lot, a lot, a lot. I came back two months later and I got her. So what I'll do is I'll share the sticker price of each item as I show them to you, and then at the end of the video, I will let you know how much I saved. So the sticker price of this bag was 5,000 euro, and with the VAT refund, I paid 4,250 euro, which converted to $5,886.68, and that's in Canadian dollars, by the way. So moving on to the real first item that I bought in the EU, and it was this really pretty Zoe wallet from Louis Vuitton. Um, I saw this wallet and bought this wallet on the same day that I first saw the Capucine bag, and although I didn't want to splurge on the Capucine bag that day, I did take this home with me. At the time, I didn't really have a compact wallet, so I thought this would be really practical. But now it's my everyday wallet and it gets loads of use. So really good buy on my part, I would have to say. So because I bought this at the airport, I didn't have to pay that on it or apply for a refund. But the sticker price of the item was 510 euro. I paid 418 euro which converted to $564.81. So the third item that I bought was this really pretty pair of Dita sunglasses. I haven't had a pair of sunglasses in a really long time. And when I say a really long time, I mean like years. I think it would have been probably since 2017. And I think the sunglasses that I had then were like from H&M or something. So, I mean, I just wanted a nice pair of sunglasses. I had always wanted to try Dita. So I just like their designs. I picked these up from a really great sunglass store. Actually, I don't know if it's a sunglass store or just a regular glasses store, but I picked them up from a really great store close to where I was staying in Rome. I had a really good experience there actually because I had originally chosen the rose gold pair. Um, and then when I took them out into the light, I realized that they were just too pink for me. And the shop owner was just really, really nice about it. And she allowed me to return them and then she placed a special order for me for the gold ones because they didn't have them in store and um then when she got them she shipped them directly to me which i really appreciated so overall really good experience if you're in the market for a pair of sunglasses and you're in rome let me know i would be more than happy to share my contact there so these were priced at 607 euro and with the VAT refund i paid 534 euro which converted to $739.64. So those were the three things that I bought during my 2022 trips, but I went back again to Europe earlier this year, and of course I bought a few more things. Um, the first of which was actually this really cute sunglasses case from Velextra. Just like a simple black leather sunglass case. I had essentially just bought it for my Dita sunglasses because while they did come with their own case, it's just, it's huge. It's like a big box and it's really impractical to carry around, not to mention it doesn't fit in any of my bags. And I just really wanted somewhere that I could, you know, put my sunglasses in and not have to worry about them getting scratched up in my bag. And I also just wanted something that was a bit more protective than the dust bag that they came in. So I picked this up. I also really wanted to try the Lextra leather for a while, and I thought this would be a really good starting piece. So this sunglasses case was priced at 290 euro, and with the VAT refund, I paid 254 euro, which converted to 367.90. 
And if you think that's insane for a sunglasses case, I 100% agree, but it is what it is and I bought it anyway. So the next item is another Louis Vuitton item and it was the main thing that I wanted on my last trip. And it is this really cute petite sac plat in the black emprunt leather. There's not much to say about this bag. I think it's just really pretty and it's a really unique shape and I think it's the perfect uh, going out bag when you just have to carry your essentials. So you can go for like dinner or something or drinks. Um, yeah, I just think it's really cute. This bag was priced at 1600 euro and with the VAT refund, I paid 1388 euro, which converted to $2,010 and 47 cents. Up next is this really simple classic flat card holder from Chanel. I kind of bought this on a whim, but not really because it had been on my wish list, but it wasn't something that I was in a rush to get, but then I saw it and I just couldn't not get it. I had actually been on a hunt for the flat boy card holder for years, I couldn't find that card holder. And I had even gone to different stores in different countries during my travels. And I still, like, I couldn't find it anywhere. So when I went to Rome, I wanted to check the Chanel stores there to see if they had it. Meanwhile, I had bought it a few months earlier on consignment, but I just wanted to see if I could find it new. And uh, while the store did not have the flap boy card holder, it did have this. So I scooped it up. <laughs> Anyway, this item was priced at 470 euro, and with the VAT refund, I paid 404 euro, which converted to 583 dollars and one cent. So, I have a couple more items left. This is actually the last item that I purchased in Europe, um, and I'll explain why in a sec. But these are the Gucci Princeton Mule in black. Um, I had wanted a pair of these for a really long time, and finally allowed myself to pull the trigger because savings. <laughs> And again, another really simple item, but classic, timeless, perfect for summer, and really versatile. And overall, I really enjoyed them. And I do have the other pair. I just didn't want to take it out of the dust bag. So these were priced at 680 euro, and with the VAT refund, I paid 595 euro, which converted to 861 dollars and 86 cents. So for the last item of the day, we have this really cute Louis Vuitton card holder and emprunt leather that just so happens to match my petite sac plat. So this item I didn't actually buy in Europe, but I'm including it because I wouldn't have it unless I made the purchase that I did in Europe. So what happened was I made a spontaneous purchase. <laughs> Usually I'm really good about planning out my purchases, especially larger purchases, or at least taking the time to think it through. Um, and usually if it's a spontaneous purchase, like I know in my bones that I want it, like I did with the Zoe wallet, like I bought that. Yes, it was spontaneous, but I have no regrets about it. I love the wallet. I'm, I'm glad I bought it. I would have regretted not buying it, but I don't know. I just failed myself that day. <laughs> I really think that's what it was. Basically, I purchased two thin silk scarves that I wanted to use as twillies for my new bag. But then when I got them home, I immediately regretted it, opened them up, I looked at them again. And there was just too much logo action going on. They're really pretty, but I think I would have gotten bored of the print. Also, I didn't really like the feel of them. I'm not sure if that's if all of the scarves are like that, but I just did not like the feel of those scarves. They were very, they weren't really soft. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, it was instant regret. I don't know why I didn't just not buy them. I don't know. Like, I have no excuse. I, I It was on a whim. I bought it. It is what it is. But luckily, Louis Vuitton has an international exchange policy. So I ended up taking them in and I exchanged them for this. So instead of going through the whole exchange process and the math behind it, I'll just tell you what I theoretically would have paid had I just bought this at the airport instead. And because I don't know at the moment what the exchange rate was on that day, I'll just use the current exchange rate for today. This item was priced at 305 euro and with the VAT excluded by purchasing it at the airport, I would have paid 250 euro, which converts to $373.53. So overall, how much did I really save? I'm going to go through each item with you and how much I save for each one. So the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB bag retails in Canada for $8,700 or $9,831 with tax. I paid $5,886.68 for a savings of $3,944.32. The Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet Retails in Canada for $880 or $994.40 with tax. I paid $564.81 for a savings of $429.59. The Dita Flight 006 sunglasses retail in Canada for $850 
or $960.50 with tax. I paid $739.64 for a savings of $220.86. The Velextra sunglasses case retail in Canada for $550 or $621.50 with tax. I paid $367.90 for a savings of $253.60. The Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Plat retails in Canada for $2,730 or $3,084.90 with tax, I paid $2,010.47 for a savings of $1,074.43. The Chanel Classic Flat Card Holder retails in Canada for $620 or $700.60 with tax, I paid $583.01 for a savings of $117.59. The Gucci Princetown Mules retail in Canada for $1,130 or $1,276.90 with tax. I paid $861.86 for a savings of $415.04. The Louis Vuitton flat card holder in emprunt leather retails in Canada for $500 or $565 with tax. Had I bought this item outright instead of the scarves, I would have paid $373.53. For savings of $191.47. Adding all of that up, I've saved a total of $6,646.90, which I think is pretty good. Note that all of these purchases were spread out over a year and across multiple trips, so I didn't buy everything all at once, and the prices that I paid are reflective of the conversion rates at the time of purchase. Also, I am still relatively new to luxury shopping, having only really just started over a year ago, and everything that I had bought had been on my wish list for a really long time, with the exception of the Louis Vuitton card holder. So they were really strategically planned purchases. So I don't want you to think this is like my everyday life. I don't shop like this all the time. Um, Maybe one day I'll be able to, but right now I cannot. But with that said, luxury shopping is just something that I really enjoy. And I know that a lot of you do too. So I thought it'd be helpful to give you an idea of what you could save through examples of what I've purchased and saved myself. And I hope I've also given you some really useful information for navigating the VAT refund process for your future travels to Europe. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with another one later this week. But in the meantime, please come join me over on Instagram where I share curated photos, videos, and guides. But that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.